Hey, it's LaDonna. Welcome back to Double L Cattle Farming and Hatchery. So today I've got a little calf that we had a new experience um, after it was born. And I'm going to share that with you. And also I've got a little surprise I wanted to share. Y'all stick around. So this is a picture taken of me and my six little cowboys at Thanksgiving. As you can see, I have my hands full. So blessed to have all these little boys in my life. But today, I'm going to introduce to you my first granddaughter. Woohoo! Um, she is beautiful, and I'm so excited to finally have a little cowgirl at the farm. Can't wait to see if she enjoys the farm as much as I do one day. As we talked about last week, I believe, or the week before, um, I'm calving out my heifers. I only had four heifers this year to calf because we were trying to um, close in on our calving season and not have spring calves, have all fall calves. So this was my very last heifer to calf, and we were checking her about every six to eight hours, and when I got there to check her, she had had it on her own, and I was so excited. Um, so I just left her be for about an hour and a half and came back to check on her. The calf had not moved at this point. Of course, it's the middle of the night and I'm like, what is going on? So I just went to get my sled, put the calf in the sled and I bring it up to the barn. But the baby's legs are not working. Like his, mostly his back legs, um, but the front, one of his front legs is not working good either and it can't stand up and I'm like great so I run back home get some hot water um, to make a bottle of colostrum and I got it a shot of multi man just to make sure it's not some kind of vitamin deficiency so I come back and it takes the bottle it's like really hungry and it takes the full bottle and um, I give it the shot and so the next morning when I go back you know I put the blanket on it because uh, it was wet and cold and you can see his back legs are just limp. Um, I've never had this happen before. I mean, I've had them where the tendon was kind of tight and you've kind of had to splint maybe for a day or so until it got stronger, uh, but not the whole back end. So apparently she had a hard birth um, and that's all I can figure out and had a pinched nerve in, in the back end of the calf. Um, I'm holding it up here and, and he's trying to move so I just kind of got him up as much as possible and, you know, helped him to get around. And then I got her up. Um, I milked her, put it in the bottle, and we give it to the calf. I also did that squeeze on the calf um, that I've seen before just to see if that might help as well. Um, it might have helped some, but as you can see, he just can't, he can get up on his front knees, but he just couldn't get all the way up. So it was kind of strange. But I got, while I had her in the head catch, I decided that I needed to just let him nurse. So I get him up, get him over here, and just kind of hold him up well while he nurses. And he's very interested in that. And well, he's trying with all of his might. <laughs> I'm holding his back end up. The blanket is really helping me hold him up better. Not really that cold, but. Yeah. All right, you better fall off my knee. Good job. Straighten them up. There you go. They're just really weak and wobbly. You're falling down. He's standing on his own just for a little bit anyway. Got him on this old bag because it's so muddy right here. That's so good. Good job. I'm actually taking some steps now. Occasionally. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Good job. 
been kind of rubbing his muscles and stuff in his legs and he don't like it so maybe that's waking him up i don't know Good job, buddy. Good job. Probably gonna milk the mama and give us more bottle because I don't think you got enough. And uh, plus, it's hard to get her up in the head kit. She don't like it. I don't blame her. Good job, buddy. That's wonderful. Good job. Oh, this blanket really. Oh, so this tired. at this point, after I got really some of the mama's milk in him, hold him up. I go back and oh, I'm getting the feed to take out to the other cows. Y'all, he just got out by himself. Woohoo! One proud mama here. Yay! Good job, buddy. That's wonderful. I'm so proud of you. I didn't leave his blanket on very long. He had gotten cold because he is wet. I just wanted to get his body temperature up, make sure he didn't get it sick from it. Look, I'm walking. Oh. We kept him up in the small area where we had the other calf before and uh, this is the next morning he's up nursing he's walking around better he's still a little weak but he's doing great um, so we're just gonna kind of keep him up at night and and then uh, watch him during the day so he's getting stronger with every few minutes and with every nursing that he does something about that mother's milk that's just magic so hungry also, when we got here, it looks like he's already nursed. Um, he's not hungry at all. She's a great mama. She's loved him through the whole thing, cleaned him up, called to him. So this was definitely not her fault. Just kind of a fluke thing that happened. Oh, he is doing so much better today. It's unreal. Come on. Good job. Are you coming to see me? <laughs> Are you coming to see me? It's like a boy. Yeah, no, buddy. So he's continued to get stronger every day, and we're so thankful that uh, he was able to recover from whatever happened. I really believed it was a pinched nerve, though. We were able to put him out with the other heifers and babies in this lot. And he's going to be a stinker. He's already ripped his tag out and uh, cut his eye. But this is him on the right. And as you can see, he's doing great now. Y'all, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And please like, share, and hit that subscribe button. See y'all next time. How fresh is this stuff? Will be any fresher or will we still be grazing? Whoa.